Hello, you. <clears throat> hey, YouTube. I'm back. I know it has been a very long time since I last posted, and I didn't really stick up to what I said about posting more regularly, so I apologize for that. I do want to let you guys know that I'm planning to post and shoot a lot more content, so there'll be a lot more. Um, just activity and engagement on my channel so just stick with me guys and I promise it's gonna be a fun ride as you guys can see by the title today I'm doing a pretty little thing haul um, I ordered like I think over 40 like over 40 items so I bought a bunch of different clothing items I bought some sweatshirts some jeans some oversized trees some oversized t-shirts some unitards like the one that I have on now which I'll show you guys later but um, ooh, I also got a lot of nice dresses, so I want to show those all to you guys, try them on, and yeah. Everything that I bought was on the sales section, so I just like went through the sales section and bought the cutest stuff that I saw. <laughs> also in the description I'll have my measurements, as well as, as well as all of the different links to all of the items, and what else? Ooh, and the sizes. So everything will be in the description, but I'll try it on for you guys. This is the first outfit. So it's just like a very simple, basic black unitard. Um, it's a little tight, like a lot tighter than I thought it would be, being that it's a size 10. And I mean, I'm, I got some juicy legs, so that's probably why, but like this part is very tight. And like up here fits perfectly. Part my boobs up so it sits really nice. Like I don't even have to wear a bra with it. Probably just some nipple covers, but this is really cute. And I actually bought two in, instead of one. I bought two of these. So if you guys are interested, if you want it, comment below. And then you can DM me or something and I'll ship it to you. So if you like, comment below. All right guys, so this is the next dress that I have to try on for y'all. It's like a cotton material kind of thing. I thought it would be more of like that silky fabric type, but I mean, this works. It's very lightweight, so I, I, I do like that about it. The only thing that I don't like is the fabric, but um, I mean, it's a really cute dress. I don't know, what do you guys think? And it fits well, like I said, it's a little baggy um, around the stomach area. Like I wish it was tighter just up here and maybe looser down here, but this is what we're working with. I would like probably rate this like, maybe like a seven, just because of the quality of the fabric isn't that nice, but it's an okay dress. Like I would probably wear it with some combat boots maybe and like a black leather jacket. That's a look, so yeah, what do you guys think? So this is also just a little dress. I think it's called like a blazer, like a blazer knitted dress or whatever, but I got this in a size US 12 purposefully because I wanted it to be like kind of like loose, um, which it is. <laughs> so I don't know if I made the right decision getting a bigger size, but um, the fabric is very thin. So obviously as you guys can see, it's probably see-through. Like if I were to wear some like white underwear, you'd probably be able to see it. So it's not as thick as I would like, but I mean, it's a really nice color. The quality feels okay. So, I mean, it's not a bad buy. I'm not really sure how I would style this because like, I'm not really like, I'm not that in tune with fashion yet. So I'm not sure what I would wear this with, but I like it. I would give it like a, probably like a six just because it's so thin, like I probably wouldn't be able to wear it out, especially in Seattle when it's freaking raining all the time. But I mean, I don't know, maybe like a good summer beach dress or a picnic or something. So this is the third dress I got, um, but it has just like really cool designs on it. And I love the color. And also the feel of the dress is like very soft. So I love that. And honestly, it's it's not see-through like you would think it is, but there's like a lot of fabric underneath that makes it less see-through, so I really like that. It has a like a tie where you can like pull the ruching up to like make the dress shorter if you wanted to, or you can also pull it down and wear it like closer to your knees. But y'all, this dress is super cute, and I would definitely give it like probably a 10, just because it fits like much better than I thought it would. And I'd probably wear it with some like I don't know, some like long shiny black heels probably, so yeah, we like this. All right, chill. Bow! 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 Y'all, this dress has me feeling like... 
Oh, I'm feeling this dress. It is so, oh, it is so cute. Like again, just like the last dress, I love everything about it, just like I said in the last one, but I feel like this one really kind of looks good on my skin tone. But I mean, y'all, this dress is just, it is so cute. And like I said, it hugs like your body in every single area and you can like adjust it. If you wear this out to dinner, like let's say you eat a big meal and you just end up becoming really bloated, like you can kind of ruch it <laughs> like up here just to make it look like, you know, like just to cover that little area. So I usually do that sometimes when I go out when I eat a lot, but 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Let's get into the next one. It's just a little slip on bodycon ribbed dress. Um, I love how soft it is. Like I'm definitely gonna give this a 10 out of 10 just because of how it hugs my body. And again, um, I'll probably be wearing this inside the house mostly just because of how much it accentuates my curves. Anywho, or I'll probably like throw on like a nice jacket or like a nice flannel or and right now this is all just like fun things to add to my closet. So what y'all think? I'm giving this a 10 because of the feel of it on my body and I feel like how it makes me look is just very curvish. So yeah, we're giving this one a 10. On to the next. Y'all, uh, oh, I'm not ready for this one. Check me out. So this is a little cutout velvet bodycon dress. And oh my, guys, this dress is amazing. Like it knows just like all of the different cuts and the right angles to make me look just extra slim. And it's, and it's velvet. <laughs> like I love this. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm too friendly with these outfits just because I don't know too much about fashion, but I mean, shoot, cute is cute. And I think this is cute. This is, this is super nice. We like this one. I'm saving this one for when we can finally go out, but until then, next. Oh my, like look at the way it just really adds, just defines the shape in my curves and all. M G. This is super cute. Like, look at that. I feel like this could give anybody who doesn't have shape, shape. Just because of like how the dress is like ruched and sewn to kind of just fit your hips. So, y'all, this is definitely a little, a little 10 out of 10, you know what I mean? So next on I have this unitard, which I zipped all the way up to my neck just to show you guys what it looks like. But you can also zip it down to here, but I don't recommend that because your boobs will just fall whichever way gravity wants them to and I, I don't know about y'all. That's not really my thing, so I'd probably keep it zipped up. And this is, it's a good length, I'm surprised. It fits my arms. Um, it's not that tight, which I like, it's kind of loose. Um, I do wish that the back was, I guess, a little tighter just because it's kind of loose and baggy back here. I wore them with these sweats that I don't plan on wearing together, but I just wanted to try them on together, so. These sweats are very comfortable. They are like much better quality than I would expect from Pretty Little Thing. So I'm very impressed by these sweatpants and I like them a lot. So y'all, these sweatpants I thought were gonna be much tighter, but as you can see, I can fit a whole other person in here. So if I can return these, I'll probably try to, but I mean, they are definitely, they would have been a, um, a good buy if they were like a size or two shorter, smaller, but, um, you know, it's not bad quality. Um, there's no waistband or like no adjustable strings, which is kind of weird. But um, these I'll probably just give it four out of 10 just because they don't fit. But in terms of the quality, it's not bad. So if, if you're looking for sweatpants, Pretty Little Thing might actually be a place to go to get some things like that. So yeah, let's try on the next thing. Okay guys, so this next little getup I have is a plain white little basic t-shirt, which I feel like every girl needs in their closet. So I'm glad I finally got one of these and it fits well. And then paired with that, I have these huge oversized sweatpants, which I did not intend for. So again, these are much bigger than I expected. And they're also a lot thinner than I expected too. I figured that they'd be just thicker. In terms of rating, the t-shirt definitely gets a cool little eight out of 10 because it's lightweight fabric. So I can tell after a few washes that might get just cheap. And then the pants, I'm giving a five out of 10 just because they're so big and they don't really fit. So, yep. Next up, I have these split hem jeans 
which were supposed to be so cute, but I got them probably one or two sizes too big. Um, as you can tell by the waist, like right here, this is just not gonna cut it. So I'm definitely gonna have to return or give or give these away. Um, the pants are super, bo or, or the bottoms are super cute, and that's kind of why I bought them because of that split hem look. But like I said, these are just too big, so definitely gonna have to try and return them if I can. Next up, I have this cute. Oops, my bad. So next up, I have this cute little gray racerback top which I can show you guys in the back, right to the back right there. It's really cute and it fits really well. Um, it's a little small so I could probably go one size up just so like I have more space. Um, actually, I don't know, it might actually fit well. I don't know, this might be a good fit t-shirt. So I like it a lot. Um, the, the fabric is really comfy, it's super soft. I always love that and raise her back tank tops like this, so that's great. And these cotton sweatpants, are probably one or two sizes too big, as you guys can tell. Um, I probably definitely could have sized down um, just one in these sweatpants, but they're cute too. So I'll definitely run these through the dryer through one cycle and see if they'll shrink down so I can wear them with more stuff. Because they're super cute and I hate like wasting clothes. So I'm gonna try that. So again, with those same shorts, I have this cute little graphic tee. Uh, I got it oversized and it's honestly the perfect size of like an oversized tee that I would want because it's not too big but it's big enough to where like I can wear it with some biker shorts and maybe some cute air forces when I get some one day but I really like this t-shirt and it's nice quality I can tell so it, it, it feels good it's pretty soft and I can tell that like after I wash it a couple times it'll still be good so I always am hopeful when I get clothing like that but this is really comfortable and I'm definitely gonna give it a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10, because it's cute and it's comfy. Can't complain. I got on this other graphic tee. It says, what does that say, Outrun? This is super cute. Now this one is very big, so I could honestly wear it like a dress. So maybe I could pair this with some like thigh-high leather boots. I don't know if I'm feeling sexy and rebellious, <laughs> I guess. Um, but underneath that, I have these caramel shorts that I also got. And again, just like the black shorts, they're a little, um, big so I could have sized down in these. If you do buy these just know that they are not the same fabric as the black ones which are much thicker so I prefer that but I mean these are cute too like again these are good for the summer very lightweight and I love that and this this tee again too is solid so I'm glad I could add this to my wardrobe but I'm probably give this one a cool little 10 because I really like it and then the shorts I'm probably give them a cool little six you know. They are. When I put this on and looked in the mirror, I was like, yo, am I going like on a safari or something? Like what, what is this? I like this one. Just a simple, again, a little basic to add to my closet to pair like under maybe a jacket or a flannel or a sweater if I choose to wear it with some like nice high-waisted jeans. But yeah, this is comfy. So I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 for sure. This is like a cute little nighttime set. Um, yeah, so as you can tell, the top is very small. Um, the bottoms fit just right. They give me a lot of booty action. So, I mean, that's always right for when the time is needed. The top is, again, too small. So I could just flip it around since the back is longer and then just wear it like that. But this is, it's just a little small. This one is too very fitting, as you can tell. Um, it accentuates my curves very well. So this will definitely be staying in the house. Yeah, I think it's cute for sleeping in. If I'm just going over to my man's house late at night, just throw it on, you know, something cute and yeah. <laughs> this next outfit I have here is a yellow kind of like small cardigan, which is a lot smaller than I thought. And I don't know, I guess I'd probably wear it with like a t-shirt or like a tank top underneath and then just open it up so that this thing is more of like a cardigan. But I do have just a strapless bra on underneath right now, so I'm just gonna um, keep it tied up. But along with the shirt, I have these jeans, which honestly, I don't really like this material. I actually hate this material on jeans, just because to me it feels so cheap, but like they are very big at the waist, so I don't really love that. And they're also pretty short, like they don't go all the way down to my ankles, which is really irritating if you're tall. So these are definitely, Hopefully gonna be returned if I can, but I don't know. 
I'm not really feeling too hot about these pants. So I'm gonna give these a three just because of the quality and how they fit. It's just not what I like. And then this little cardigan is kind of cute. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. It's good for the summertime. And I, I know it looks kind of like white to you guys, but it's a lot more yellow, like a, like a really light yellow. So I like this color, it's really nice. And next up, I did get a jacket too that I wanted to show y'all. And oh, it has a hood on the back too. We always love that. So it has a hood. Um, it doesn't feel like you can wear it in the rain, but it kind of has that like raincoat texture, which is pretty cool. It has these cool little accents on the side where you can like ruche up the jacket if you want and like tie it like that. I always love um, pieces of clothing that have that element tied into it, but I'm gonna zip it up for y'all so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, this is cute. It's a really nice jacket. I feel like it's a good, it's a good staple for like winter time in Seattle because it's always wet, rainy, and cold. So I feel like this could protect you from all those elements. I probably could have sized down one, but um, it looks like I can ruche the sides and the arms. So I could probably just make it fit to my body. So I'm definitely giving this a cool little eight out of 10 because I like it a lot and I'll definitely be wearing it. This is probably one of my more favorite outfits that I've put on just because I feel like both items fit me really well. But these leather pants I got are very fitting and I love how they're tight like around the hips and also around the waist as well. So I don't really need a belt if I wear them, which is really nice. Um, I do wish that they were a little longer just because as you guys can see, they're kind of short. Um, I got some pretty long legs, so that's not fun. But just in terms of quality, the jeans feel really nice. So I will definitely give these like an eight out of 10 just because they're kind of short. So that takes away the two points. But I like these pants. They're a good staple to have in my closet. And I think this top is super cute too. It's really lightweight and I love how it fits and the fabric is really soft. So man, this is a cute little outfit I think I put together. What do you guys think? I like. <laughs> Okay, now y'all, my wig is starting to shift. So thankfully we're getting down to the last few items. <laughs> I got on this Brooklyn sweater. I got it in a very oversized size. Um, I kind of wish I didn't get it so oversized just because I feel like I can't wear it as much as I would like. But I mean, it's super cute. Like I would just throw it on with some leggings maybe and like some boots or some sneakers or something. So I think this is definitely nice to have in my closet. And it's also really cozy on the inside, and I love that. I don't know, I like it. I'm definitely gonna give it an eight out of 10 because I feel like I could wear this with a lot of things, and I'd wear it often in Seattle because it rains a lot, so I like. And this is also super oversized. I don't know why I got these in sizes that are so big, because again, like I said, I probably can't wear this like how I wanted to, but I'll probably just wear this like maybe as like a sweater dress <laughs> and like some biker shorts and some cool sneakers because I ain't gonna do much with this but I'll definitely be able to wear it around the house so I don't know I'm not mad I think it's a good buy um it's just really big so <laughs> I wanna wear I'm gonna wear this but I'm gonna still give it a seven out of ten because it's cozy on the inside it's like kind of fuzzy which I love in sweatshirts so yeah not mad about this one now guys, the last thing to, I had to try on for you guys, I had to wait until last because the neck is so tight. It literally rips off my wig every single time I put it on. So I figured if it's the last thing I'm trying on, who cares if my hair looks a mess? So there's that. Um, it's really, this is like the size that I would want the other two jackets to be in so I could wear it more often, but this is really cute. Like I like the design. Again, it's really soft and it fits me really well. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. Um, I do wish that it was a little thicker just because like this kind of feels like fleece and not like a, like a really thick cotton like the blue sweater did, but I like it, I'm not mad at it. And I do think it was a good buy. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. That is it for my PLT haul, y'all. I am done. Mm. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Sizes and stuff will be, again, in the description. So find it in there, connect with me on Instagram, follow me at R-A-M-O-U underscore M-O-O. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.
video if you liked it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching again. And I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, day, evening, or night. And I'll see you guys next week.